Welcome. My name is Kazuyoshi Takahashi, and I am the president of the Hikari Corporation in Japan. I will explain about dry cutting and the efficient application of the new Hikari B-Dry Scissor. When creating a hair design, there are two basic methods that are used by hairstyles today. One method is to wet the hair, then cut. This is called wet cutting. The other method is to dry the wet hair first, then cut. Dry cutting. Hair designs are created either by cutting hair wet or cutting hair dry. This is usually determined by the hairstylist's training. There are definite benefits to learning the techniques of dry cutting hair. Dry cutting a hairstyle has unique finished results. The finished hairstyle is very soft, light, and easy to maintain and the individual strands of hair have a natural movement. To achieve this, instead of blunt cutting sections, individual hair strands must be cut to taper. This is achieved by using a specific technique of dry slice cutting. The Hikari B dry scissor is specifically designed for dry cutting hair, also for the efficient, effortless slice cutting of dry hair. Until the B dry scissor was introduced, all the scissors used by hairstylists for dry cutting were specifically designed to cut wet hair, wet cutting. If you use a scissor designed for wet cutting to dry cut, the scissor will snag and pull hair. This causes damage to the hair fiber and is extremely painful and uncomfortable to the client. To make dry hair cutting efficient for the hairstylist, eliminate damage to the hair, and enjoyable for the client, the B dry scissor was designed. The following is a demonstration of the features and benefits of the Ikari B dry scissor. When using a scissor designed for wet cutting to slide cut dry hair, the scissor blades snag and pull the hair. This is bad for the hair as it shreds the hair cuticle damaging the hair structure. And the snagging and pulling of the hair is very uncomfortable to the client. With the B-Dry scissor, slice cutting, the blades do not snag or pull the hair, and the cuticle is not damaged or weakened. Because the blades do not pull or snag the hair, the client experiences no discomfort. When opening and closing the B-Dry scissor to cut, the blades are smooth and effortless, cutting sections with a soft tapered finish. This is unlike cutting with a scissor designed to cut wet hair, which will result in blunt ends. Next, Mr. Shuichi Tanaka, International Educational Director for IBIN, will demonstrate various dry cutting techniques using the Hikari B dry scissor. Scale cut. Scale cut. This technique creates multiple layers of texture within a section. The layers are supported like scales on a fish. Select a diagonal section from the side. Cut from the base of the section moving forward. Continue to take sections beneath and cut with the same technique. Outside sliding layer cut. Select a vertical section, position scissor at the base, then slice cut to the ends. Use this technique to shape the top layers of the section, keeping length and create a smooth soft look.
Taper sliding cut. Select a horizontal section. Position texturizing scissor near the base. Slightly open and close blades as you move towards the ends. Repeat. Do not close blades completely. Weaving slide cut. Select a section at the front area. Weave and separate. The section beneath is a slice cut diagonally to the desired design length. The remaining section is cut slightly longer. Inside sliding graduation cut. Select a vertical section. Position scissor at the base. Slice cut at an angle to the ends. Slice cut multiple times through a section. This technique creates lift and volume. Quarter sliding taper cut. Select small sections, position texturizing scissor, and creatively slice cut with the tips or middle of the blades. Open and close the blades as you move to the ends. This creates soft, airy interior separation. Inside sliding cut. Select a section and position scissor at the base to slice cut. Release small sections as you move the scissor to slice cut from base to the ends. Curving slide cut. Select a vertical section. Slice cut diagonally in curve or C shape. Keep the length at the bottom of the section. Slice cut sections in the direction that movement is desired.